It's been months since devastating earthquakes hit central Italy, but the rescue work continues. In the rubble of churches like this, hundreds of works of art are being saved every day. We're talking about little candelabras, reliquaries, statues, and there are a lot. We've saved at least 5,000 works of art in the last two weeks. We're talking about big numbers. The fate of this heritage is in the hands of the Blue Helmets. It's a cultural version of the UN's peacekeepers, made up of specially trained art police, firefighters, officials and volunteers. Once they have retrieved and catalogued the damaged items, they pass them on to restorers, archaeologists and historians. We need manpower because there are so many objects to save and because the areas are difficult to explore, we need machines. A deal between Italy and UNESCO will see the task force deployed worldwide to salvage heritage sites devastated by conflict or natural disasters. Their first destination, once safe to enter, is expected to be Syria's ancient city of Palmyra. But for now, there are still priceless artefacts to save at home. Like this 15th century fresco, discovered when a layer of plaster fell away in the earthquake. Frescoes, statues, we found a paper mache statue underneath a canvas, for example. It's an archaeological dig site here. The 60 strong blue helmets hope to train more members as they look to the future. But in this quake hit region, these modern day saviors are still salvaging the past.